Fox Kids is what? Fox Kids is cool! Power promise number four. Ah! Promise always to be a good sport. That's what martial arts is all about. They were right there in front of us. These big, ugly metal dudes. Aliens. Big, ugly metal dudes. You guys have been out the sun too long. Ernie, this is no joke. Lieutenant Stone was there too. Yeah, right. Oh, but you've been watching TV? Yeah, well, as far as I'm concerned. Until the governor comes on and tells me it's for real, I don't believe anything. We interrupt this Angel Grove broadcast for a very special announcement. Please. And now the governor of our fine state. He's coming! Transmission. We are in dire need of your assistance. The Earth has been regressed back in time and has come under the attack of Master Vile. Yes, Master Vile. A most unwelcome visitor. I am afraid your intervention would mean a great risk to your physical well-being. However, we have no choice but to humbly request that you take that chance. Does not the planet Earth host large bodies of water upon it? Oh yes, lakes and oceans full, not to mention a few swimming pools. I am not certain whether your particular water sources will sustain us. However, that can be determined when the need arises. What about swords? Yeah, they'll need them if they're gonna have a chance against Master Vile. I am Cestro, expert in engagement technologies. Our battle boards were presented to us over a millennium ago by your great sage, Ninja. We could really use him right now. Yeah, unfortunately we won't find the temple for years. Our battle boards possess similar technologies to your own pilots and zords. But unlike yours, we control ours telepathically. They will be at our disposal at a moment's notice. You will have control of our rangers' shogun zords in cases of emergency. Do not fear, Zordon. You did right to call upon us. We shall make preparations and set a path to your nearest body of water right away. Until then. Totally awesome. They're really coming. Ay, ay, ay. Zordon, there's an implosion device outside the command center. A what? Like a bomb, but worse. Master Vile must have had it planted there. Why weren't we alerted? Our security scanners must have weakened due to the distress transmission sent to Aquatar. If we don't do something quick, we're all going to be history. <laughs> Everything is just as I planned. Yes, very soon we shall rid the galaxy of Zordon, the good detour. And I, Master yeah. Vile, shall reign supreme over the universe! Yeah. 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 Get out there and disconnect that thing! I cannot allow that, Rangers. The danger is too great. Zordon is right, Rangers. I must go myself. There's no sense in all of you risking your lives as well. Besides, don't worry. There'll always be an Alpha 6 if something should happen to me. You can't! He must, Rocky. It is our only chance. Alpha, I want you to teleport the Rangers out of here. No, we won't leave you. Tommy. You must go to Angel Grove Beach and await the Alien Rangers. If for some reason Alpha and I are not able to guide them, then you six must. I am counting on you. Now go. Here, take this. It will 
enable you to contact us. It will work like a miniature viewing globe. Okay, Alpha. Now, into position and get ready. We're ready. Be careful. We love you. Uh... <clears throat> Coordinates and destination are set now. I love you too, Rangers. You must hurry, Alpha. I know, Zordon. I'm on my way. I guess all I can do now is wait. Yeah. I'm certain that I don't like it. It was something inherently good and pure. I'm allergic to good. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever it is, it's headed toward Earth. Goldar, Rito, uh? go find out what's going on. Nothing, I repeat, nothing must interfere with our great monster party. Oh boy, yeah. Here we go again. Come on, Bonehead, let's run. Right. Right. You made it! You defused the impulsion device! Just barely, Billy. I made it by the solder of my circuit board. We're still waiting for the alien rangers. Don't worry, rangers. They'll be there soon. Everything is under control. Billy, bulk and skull are right behind you. So you see, light catches and reflects upon various objects, sometimes creating a prism effect. How interesting. How boring. Off the beach, nerds. We have claim on this turf. <laughs> oh, great. This is all we need. I don't know about you, both, but I've had enough of being cool. Right behind you, buddy boy. Oh, no! Not the little people again! What's the matter, Rito? Afraid of a few children? Oh, no. Hand over those toys! You don't need them anymore! Forget it, Rito. You'll never get near them. Something 
Ooh, this doesn't look good. Pop's not gonna like this one bit. When the going gets tough, run away! to meet you. I'm Tommy. We're the Power Rangers. Yes, I believe you are. I'm Delphine, leader of the Alien Rangers. This is Caucus, Sestro, Oriko, and Tidius. Aisha, Adam, Catherine, Rocky, and Billy. Before our parents start to get worried. I'll bring Delphine and the rest of the equations to the command center. Tommy, will you make sure to tell my dad that I'll be a little late? Sure thing. Are you certain you saw the alien rangers? Yep, right there. I mean, right there on Earth. Curses! That meddlesome sword on must have called for backup. Uh, monsters, the time for battle has come. Prepare yourselves for the mother of all wars! <laughs> Sometimes I really hate being a bad guy. <laughs> As you can see, our situation is grave. Until we are able to restore our rangers to their original ages, we are powerless against Master Vile. A most distressing situation. We shall do everything in our power to come to your aid. We also live by the sacred code of the rangers, to destroy evil and protect all that is good. We can't tell you how much this means to all of us. Putting your lives on the line. I wish there was something we can do. But there is, Billy. You and the other human rangers shall be our eyes and our ears as we accustom ourselves to this planet. It looks like we're about to be attacked by a large army of terrible monsters! I've never seen quite so many mutants in one common area. Ay ay ay! It's a whole platoon of goons out in the desert! I am afraid, my alien friends, that it is time for action. I only hope you can act in time. This is the main road. We are under attack. I repeat. Under attack. You are under Come on, guys, let's go. I almost got the equations fully briefed on our Ranger powers. They'll definitely know everything there is to know about calling upon and handling our Zords. Excellent, but you must hurry. Time is running out. Knowledge infusion is complete. We are ready to begin. But I must caution you. You will be in a desert far from any body of water. Yes, Otto. And now, it's moving time! What happened to Ranger Pops? What happened to Ranger Power? Blue happened to Ranger Power! Yellow happened to Ranger Power! Red happened to Ranger Power! Rangers of Africa, full power! Power of water! Power of light! Powers unite! Monsters attack! Quietly! 
saw them, young man? Uh-huh. Yeah, they were aliens and they flew out of the sky. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> no, no, really. Yes, what an imagination. Oh, hi. Uh, to those <laughs> unknown <laughs> heroes, all of Angel Grove <laughs> thanks you. <laughs> hey. And we thank you, too. I'm sure you would have done the same for us. Count on it. I am not certain how long it will be before Alpha and I can turn the world back to its correct time. It's going to be one big job. I wish that we could say that we will stay on our planet indefinitely. However, our initial readings do not offer a positive outlook for an extended stay here. The atmosphere on Earth is extremely harsh and will not allow us to remain for very long. Then we have to find a way to turn the Earth back as soon as possible, and in the meantime, help the Equitians survive on Earth. In the meantime, we've got to stick together.
one ranger to another, thank you for everything and welcome to our planet. Power Rangers! Totally awesome. Oh great, this is all we need. Power Force! Oh, oh. 